Well, 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 welcome back, everybody. Hope that you're having a good time. I'm doing some adjusting down here. <laughs> Make sure that I can get really close to the mic. Sorry. <laughs> but in any case, we are doing a revisit. We're starting off with a revisit. I wanted to revisit Microcosmos because honestly, I haven't listened to it since. And I remember it being really good. And I just felt like, you know, now's a good time to to kind of hop right back into this song. So let's check it out, shall we? In the beginning, I did not shine so bright. I only knew to do my best to shine. But we found each other, and a universe was born. Now let us shine on each other. We're no longer small. Just as the universe expands, our universe will last forever. Oh, 
Hmm. Okay, I was not remembering the fact that um, the song was so upbeat. I felt like that this was going to be a slower song. Um, I do remember the stage being super crazy like that. Uh, you know, honestly, again, I kind of like the lyrics. You know, they're very imaginative. It's very, it's a nice painting of, um, visually speaking. And I think the thing that I like about this is, I remember, you know what it reminds me of, visually speaking? <laughs> um, it reminds me of, like, have you ever been out in, like, a field? Or, like, if you've been out camping or something like that, and, like, there's no light pollution, and you can see all the stars, all the constellations, all that stuff. And I think the interesting thing is about that is, is that the way that they put their lyrics together kind of makes me feel like that each, it's like seeing a flashlight when you're lost, you know? It's a, a very, like, light-in-the-dark kind of hopeful feel. And honestly, I think it's one thing that's really interesting is just the idea of how they talk about things in such an interesting contrast to a lot of other people. And I think the interesting thing is specifically about the the song and the lyrics and just kind of the way that it's written is it's one of those things that makes you realize like, wow, you're so small compared to like the universe and like everybody has their own lives. But at the same time, like that's kind of what's cool is like it's your own life. And, you know, a lot of what happens is stuff that, you know, you can kind of control and, you know, move towards and move away from. And you can kind of craft your own story. So I like that feeling of it. And, you know, I think that that's kind of something special. I really like that. I mean, like, even right here, 7 billion people are 7 billion different worlds. What a cool aspect. And what an interesting way to think about that. You know, like, this isn't just a life. It's like a world, right? And I think that that's just such a sick thought process. I don't know. I love the way that they wrote that. The lyrics to this song are very deep. I like that. You know, and I think the thing that's interesting too is that kind of like um, Magic Shop, there's a there's a, some correlation between like the the crowd or like the person and BTS, and I just really appreciate that ever giving like feel between them and the group, and I don't know, it's so nice to see something so positive. I I know that sometimes that. I might come across as very positive person and like not sometimes, you know, there's sometimes where I'm not really willing to criticize. And I think that to me personally, I think sometimes the idea of just like wanting to be, and I don't want to be like super ridiculously overly positive that it's like fake, but like, I feel like that there's so much negative in the world that sometimes it's nice to know that there's someone like BTS that is very positive. And I think that that's cool. And, you know, I think the other reason why <laughs> that it's so cool is that when they do decide to kind of, like, clap back or, you know, do something about, you know, a hater or something like that, it's a lot more, it's a lot more, like, cutting. Because most of the time it's just like, ah, oh, let it go, you know? So when they do decide to address something, it's like, whoa, that's uh, pretty serious if you piss them off, you know, <laughs> you know, it's one of those, it's like when you, it's like when you know someone who just, no matter what, they never get mad, and then, then you do make them mad, and it's like the worst thing ever, because they're just like, oh, you're just, you're, okay, you know, I did not expect that, <laughs> but I think that that's kind of what's cool about the song, though, is just like the positivity behind it as well. I 
I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but for me personally, I think visually speaking, this is the coolest stage they have. Like, they, like, actually have stars out in the middle of the crowd. It's so pretty. Um, upon hearing this, aside from it being, like, a super upbeat song that I did not remember it being so upbeat, I think the other thing that I think is just so interesting about it is the overall feel. It's got a very nice, um, like, consistent energy consistent energetic drive but i think the other thing that's pretty cool about it too though is the fact that um it's not harsh i really like that feeling there that's something that really comes from that positive aspect so i don't know i i really like this song this is this sounds an absolute banger honestly i think this song is actually kind of i mean who's to say or not right but it kind of feels like the song could be considered a little underrated i know it's a little maybe a little bit more mainstream than some of the other songs that i've covered but i feel like that the song doesn't get talked about enough i really don't <laughs> anyway let me know what y'all think about this song we'll discuss this down in the comments below thank you